Hello and welcome. My name is Mohish Srivastava and I'm a developer evangelist here at Salesforce. I'm super excited to show you a demo on programmatically managed communities using SFDX and Experience Bundle. In this demo, we will see how to create communities programmatically using Salesforce CLI. We'll use Experience Bundle to modify communities metadata and retrieve modified metadata using Salesforce CLI. We'll make code changes using the VS Code editor to the community's metadata and push changes to scratch orgs using Salesforce CLI. We'll also show you how to publish communities using Salesforce CLI. For this demo, I'm using Salesforce CLI. You can install the Salesforce CLI from developer.salesforce.com slash tools slash SFDX CLI. You'll also need a Visual Studio Code editor. We also have VS Code plugin Salesforce extension for VS Code that makes it easy to work with Salesforce DX projects. Let's create an SFDX project. To do that, I'm going to go to command line and say SFDX create project. Let's pick up the standard template here. Let me name the project as TDX demo communities ALM. So you can see the project scaffold here. So I have the project scaffold. This next thing I want to do is authorize my dev hub. To do that, I'll go to the command palette and choose authorize a dev hub. So once authorized, you will see a message called the authorization is successful. Next step would be, I'm going to create a scratch org so that I can do my community's project development. Before that, there is one thing that you, we will have to, to note. That is to update our scratch org definition file so that it has features like communities, Insights. To work with experience bundle, we will need to make sure that in our settings, the experience bundle is enabled. You can easily do that in scratch arcs by using the settings, experience bundle settings and enabling the experience bundle metadata to true. Also, we need to make sure that our scratch arc is ready for communities project. To do that, I will have to enable the network in my community settings. So once I have all these, I am ready to create a scratch org. To create a scratch org, all that I need to do is go to the command palette and say SFDX and say create a default scratch org. I'm going to choose the project scratch definition file that I have here. And let me say TDX demo as an alias for my org. I'm going to retain the scratch org for probably seven days. You can create community using the UI, or you can programmatically do it through the SFDX CLI. So let's explore some of the commands used to manage communities project. So all the communities command you'll find under SFDX force community, and you can do a slash help on it. So as you can see in the command line, we have two different we have two different commands, one for creation of the community, the other one for the publishing or making it live. Let's start by creating a community. To do that, I'll go to SFDX for community create, and I can do a little help on it. I can copy this straight away and create one. I'm going to copy this command just as it is. So once I execute the command, you should see a message that your community is being created. Note that the process of creation of the community is asynchronous. To make sure that our community is ready, we'll have to go to this URL that is specified here. Okay, now the community is created. Notice that it is in the previous state. 
that means it's not being published. You can use the experience builder to customize this community further. All right, now let's do some customizations on this community using the experience builder. Maybe I want to change the text of this button. And maybe the color of the button. Now let's go ahead and publish these changes using the Salesforce CLI. To publish the changes, I'll type SFDX Force Community Publish and the name of the community. In this case, the name of my community is My Customer Community. Notice that under Experiences folder, we have the community folder. And then we have all the assets that are required. Let's say I want to change the label from my local. I can push this change using SFDX for source push command. All right, looks like the button of the label has changed as expected. Note that if you have experience bundle enabled in your non-scratch orgs like production or developer, you can retrieve the experience bundle using source retrieve command. And also you can deploy these experience bundle using source deploy commands. To learn more about experience bundle, visit our developer documentation around Lightning Communities Developer Guide. Here we will explain the experience bundle structure and also how to enable the experience bundle metadata type in your scratch and non-scratch arcs. It also walks you through how to retrieve and deploy experience bundle using metadata API. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this demo and I hope you're having a wonderful TDX 20.